Order! This, the, I am now going to suspend the sitting of the House. This House is now suspended, but please wait here. Well, that's what happened in the Commons. Uh, let's uh, hear from uh, former BBC political correspondent, Labour press officer Don Brind, who explained what he saw when he walked past the area as it happened. I was walking through... Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Such a tragedy. Definitely send our thoughts and prayers to all these people. But they are now calling a terrorist attack, assailant shot, at least 12 injured, at UK Parliament. A major security alert is underway at the House of Parliament after a man is shot by police as he tried to gain entry at the Palace of Westminster, mowing down pedestrians in what police are treating as a terrorist attack. Witnesses describe seeing a car crash into the perimeter fence at Westminster Bridge, hitting pedestrians before the driver ran towards police officers guarding Parliament. And there's a video that was posted by Claudia. Onlookers said a man armed with a knife had attacked police officers at the gate before being shot. One police officer has been stabbed in the incident at about 2.45 p.m. Reuters photographers saw at least a dozen injured people on a nearby bridge. Supposedly some of them weren't moving. At least three shots were heard and people described seeing two people lay down on the ground. There were reports that a car plowed into pedestrians on Westminster Bridge just before the incident leaving up to a dozen injured. Claudia reported that she was on Westminster when the loud bangs happened. Saw what's on my vid but then saw a man run and shots fired him. Get down. Panic. She then posted, I tried to check a guy that was stuck under the car but couldn't get to him. Looked in really bad shape. I'm shaken up to say the least. A parliamentary official earlier said two people had been shot outside Parliament and the building was on lockdown. The House of Commons session was suspended and members of Parliament who were in chamber were told to remain there. Minutes after the incident, an emergency helicopter landed in Parliament Square as sirens were heard outside. Air ambulance medics ran towards the helicopter towards the casualties on the ground. A Reuters reporter inside the building said medical staff were treating two people inside the gate of the parliamentary estate. This here is the body of the man that was either hit or jumped over the railing as the cars were plowing through the people. Nearby Westminster underground train station was closed at request of police. Photographs by Reuters staff Toby Melville showed two people lying on Westminster Bridge bleeding heavily. Prime Minister Theresa May was seen being ushered into a silver Jaguar car as what sounded like gunfire rang out at Parliament during the incident. Another terrorist attack. Well, put your thoughts and prayers down below. Bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.